Just a bit down river, somewhere between here and the Yellow Crane, you can see. Uh, Blackwall Steps, it was known as. Sometime between the two great wars, when this was all docks, a plaque was erected on the entrance to the docks uh, to that event. Just 20, 25 years ago now, I suppose, when our docks uh, went into decline. Um, there was a power station built on this side, docks filled in, and the granite, which you can see, not too carefully, but I'm sure you did, it's all numbered and everything else, was set up around where those two people are there, in just a, a form of granite, the old granite from the surround, with the plaque on it, as a permanent memorial. Um, that power station actually only operated for about 10 years demolished in the early 80s and um, from then on there were various schemes to develop this site massive office blocks 20-story hotels we had a well-known mid-80s recession and coming towards the end of that we acquired the site um, from the then owners with documents blessings who were then the development authority here to develop that site for housing uh, and we were told by Dockland, well, by the way, there's some uh, granite on the river front and they didn't look after. Um, we then, rather belatedly, went into history and um, found out all that you know so well about your forefathers. Um, we literally found a big piazza now around, uh, refurbished and re erected monuments that will be on on that plinth there. There's granite to go round that plinth, then the monument goes on it. Um, on top of that the original monument was a mermaid, which we believe somebody's got in their garden, somebody knows how to find it. And it was agreed with the planners that it would be politically incorrect to have the naked government in water. So um, we um, got a local sculptor to do an astrolope, which for sure is the means of navigation that got your forefathers to America and that will probably sit on the top. Um, I'm sorry that you, your trip which became found for so long has hit us right at the wrong time. We did actually pick it in further forward, we had a lot of winter here for construction and not this particular side but at the back where we've been filling a three story base we just couldn't work for three months through the winter. So and this was just part of the soil to put it in there. But certainly by September, this will all be done. There'll be flags flying. We have extended an invitation to the government to come over and form the unveil of the new monument. We haven't had a guy yet, so if anybody can influence him, um, we welcome him here on the day. Uh, it's the middle of September sometime. Um, by which time, hopefully, the majority of these houses will be occupied, certainly the two cross the So, and this will then be open to the public, and the morning will be there, hopefully, forever. So, that's the public history of what 
we believe this is a we public up plaza, the, not yeah. a plaza just for this development. Within the whole of the Thames, there is a scheme to have a significant public walkway both sides of the Thames, and each development Strong does his bit. So, um, ours, and this will be extended to somewhere at the top of these steps. So, this will be quite a big public area. We guess that next year, with all that's supposed to be going on in that, we'll have. Yeah. Yeah, what's going on? Um, the original plan that was done on the dock on the dock space is in the British Museum. And um, having had to rescue it from the previous um, developers of um, our electricity generating board, they've said they're not going to go again. But we've had a record of cars from that actual plan, and that will be on the monument in the position that it was before. And the plaque itself will just have the name Virginia Keeper on it, and the little plaque just says that it's not. I have some photos of the original plaque back at the top, so I can go back to your coach and see it. Yeah. Um, right. well, I understand that all along then will be a public walkway through yeah. this little plaza. Yeah. Uh, so there, there this is a courtyard toward the walkway. Yeah. The it just so happens the uh, apartments and flats and the bottom are all around this plaza. People who buy the place here don't have any special rights to this. Not at all. Somewhere between the top of these flats there will be the service road to the houses because actually drive along the front to get to their garages from the lower level from the front. So, I mean, they've really got the best of everything. So this is drive new. down to the river and park in their own lot with their own house overlooking. This is in Newport Road. Right? Yeah. And that, that, that no, that's, is that the next one up? Well, it's the main one, Ryan. Right. Right. No, that's the next one up. This oh, is right. purely a service road that serves these right. two blocks of apartment and these houses. Um, Can you tell us something about your apartments and houses? Uh, how many are you putting in? What's We're putting price? in 624. Um, the houses are just these houses, are the ones you see there, everything else is apartment. Um, behind these houses, just starting at three blocks of apartments, six and eight storeys high. Um, we're selling well ahead of bill. Both of these blocks are virtually sold out. The, blocks, the first block behind is two thirds sold. From third storey up of those blocks, there's the open roof of these houses and the river beyond. Our theory is that the old developer scheme of just cramming the apartments along the river and giving it to nothing else is a bit old that, there's plenty of that, so we try to do it the other way, bring some houses to the front, the houses overlooking the old shop over there, which is now closed off as a clean water area and And then the flats beyond can some look over, some will have to walk down to the river for their view. How much do you get for a house along here that's better for you? We're asking about 300,000. 300,000? Yeah. 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 That's what's the yeah. yeah. You own the place for that. You have a freehold, but you then contribute to the maintenance of the so whole development the because yeah. we're keeping the whole of the development project, even the roads are being maintained. They're, they're public roads, but it's a total private development. How big a unit is that? About 1100 square feet, I don't want that in the How many meters? 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 How many me
square feet, about 100 square feet. Four bedrooms, eleven hundred square feet. That's all. 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 That's all.
So this is um, the old Blackwood Dock, which is now shut off from the river. It's an agent. You can try it if you don't have reflections. That's what it was. That's the original. 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 That's the